APRS is used around the world to track positions and report positions via GPS over the radio. Today, I'm going to show you how you build a DJ repeater or eye gate just using a simple Baufen radio, a Raspberry Pi, and a couple cables. To build this project, you need a Baufen UV5R. The cable for APRS is this kit included, VTEC APRS K2. I'm going to leave the, the, in the description of the channel the link for the Amazon. Uh, the splitter cable, this is a TRS splitter with the audio and microphone. This is a Sabren um, sound card. And I have here my Raspberry Pi uh, version 2 or P2. This is all the old ones that, that I was created from Raspberry Pi. So the idea basically is connect this cable to the uh, valve thing and the valve thing will be connecting the, the TRS cable to the splitter and the splitter we're going to connect audio microphone here and we're going to connect this in one of the USB ports and we're going to start the configuration of this, it's very easy, I'm going to show you guys, okay, so please stay tuned. Guys, something uh, important that you must know is the next one. Uh, well, I have the frequency already loaded here, but you need to do the, the next. You need to go to squelch, and the squelch will be in number one. Uh, you need to continue until you search the box, and the box option should be in number one, as you can see here. This is very important, these two steps are very very important in order to configure correctly the reception and transmission of the data uh, through this uh, small dial frame radio okay all right guys so we are back here in the raspberry pi all is connected as we mentioned uh, we connect the um Okay guys, so everything is now connected to the Raspberry Pi, the USB sound card, the cable, and the valve fan. So now what we are doing here is searching the project for Hotel Papa 3 India Charlie Charlie, and we're going to access here, okay? When, when you are inside of this project, you will see that um, this project have very very nice uh, information. For example, uh, Stevan has been uh, create this script with help of other colleagues in order to uh, configure all the information regarding with um, APRS and other stuff. So if we go down here, we can find the the instructions in English. So you will see that this project, well, is, as you can see, is only one project for uh, DMR, for Direwolf, Multimon, Ionosphere, uh, DFS switch. For free D DMR, they have several tools here. They have a connectivity or support for GPS direct and other stuff here. So in order to install this uh, software, uh, well, this is the compatibility mode for today, in July 2012. So in order to install this information, you need to do the, the next. So first, from terminal, well, we need sudo and curve. Uh, for this point, Kuro and Sudo is now part of the uh, operating system for Raspbian. So what, what you need to do is uh, enter Sudo and copy all this information, right? And this information will be the package that we're going to download in order to configure this uh, APRS, DigiPeter, and iGate, okay? This normally takes one hour, one hour and 30 minutes to be uh, ready. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, we're going to return once the uh, Raspberry Pi has been uh, set up with this uh, software and this package of uh, the all-in-one script, okay? 
All right, so now, once we have been done with this, so we're going to our APRS. And what we need to do here is the next, give me just one sec. Okay, so I have here the, the wizard, the information from the APRS. So when this is installed, you need to go here. I'm going to close it on. So you open terminal. In terminal, you're going to hit menu. This is the word very important, menu. And you hit enter. And ta -da, it will display all the information about the package that we just installed. Normally, when you finish the configuration or the installation, you need to uh, reboot the Raspberry Pi. So that is expect expected, and you need to do it, OK? Uh, we have three options, well, 15 options <laughs> indeed. But the ones that are very important for us is number one, APRS, Direwolf, Analog. Uh, that will be the first one. You can use a uh, software defined radio just as an eye gate. So they have the option number two. And there is a new version of APRS called Multimode.ng for um, DMR and also APRS Ion Ionosphere. APRS Ionosphere is uh, in order to get as well a uh, software defined radio USB or RTL, RTL SDR and use it just as an eye gate, okay? In this case, as our project includes a uh, receive and send package uh, via APRS, so we are going to use the APRS Darwolf Analog, okay? Here we have several options. Edit the Darwolf configuration, which is option number one. We have a start the APRS, we have a stop the APRS, and also we have the compatibility modes for Raspberry Pi Zero and Raspberry uh, V, in this case, like the Raspberry Pi that we have here, which is the B2 uh, version, okay? So we're going to edit the Darwolf. You just need to select and hit enter. After that, uh, just as a reference, this USB card normally appears in the um, device portion 1.0. But you say, hey, Greg, how can I check where is exactly connected my um, sound card? So let me just open another terminal here, and you will see. You need to, to hit A play dash L. This will show you all the hardware device connected to the USB cards, okay? So as, as here, you can see that USB device is connected to card number one as device zero, which is the USB audio, okay? So we need to use this as a reference. Please save it because uh, if we go back here to the driver information, guess, guess what? We have the device one in the USB zero. So this is by design, it came in this way. So you just need to change anything here. Just in case that you need to check where is your USB SIM card. So you need to check that. But in this way, it's fine. You don't need to change anything, okay? So now we need to go down. Uh, you need to put your station name. In this case, I pull it Tango India 2 Golf Bravo Bravo dash 10, okay? After that, you need to do uh, the next steps. Uh, you need to go from here in the Baconing properties. So uh, we're going to use our Bacon settings in order to, you know, put the symbol where our station is located. So you need to uh, uncheck or remove the the symbol here from pbacon delay and PV consent. Just keep in mind that you need to add your uh, latitude and longitude here. So be aware of that because you will need this information in order to uh, configure this. You will say, hey, Greg, where I can find this information? Well, basically, uh, you can get this information from the APRS website, OK? Uh, after that, you need to continue scroll down, and you will need to select your server. Oh, oh we have, but it doesn't matter. This is my password for APRS, so you need to to put your password and your username. Once this is done, okay, uh, you will go into 
press Control S to save it and then Control X to kit okay from the Raspberry Pi so you already save your uh, settings that you just set up and now we are going to start the APRS I have my radio here close to the um, computer in order to show you once you just select start APRS in a couple of minutes we will hear that that means that the APRS is sending the package now it should be enough in order to see if it's running how we can notice that all right so if we go here you can find here my location so here's my package uh, here is the uh, station from APRS and also you can see that is already up and running so if I I did some testing yesterday and I could see it's working fine. I indeed you can go to information, right? And from information you can see what are the latest station that this the APR received. So you can see via uh, radio we hear this station and we listen uh, directly this station in our receiver or Belfin. So that will be enough to put this uh, setting up and running. I want to say thank you to Esteban which created this script and um, he I have been in conversation with him just to you know show my appreciation for for this excellent script that helps us a lot in order to put and run the, the APRS uh, software like Direwolf does and he's very gladly to share this information with others. So this is the configuration in order to put your DG repeater or APRS or iGate APRS in your home. Uh, this is just a uh, solution for have a APRS at home. You need to notice that Baofeng is not like a heavy duty radio. So uh, in that case, just keep in mind that uh, if you want maybe a heavy duty station for APRS, you will need to consider uh, have other radios. Uh, this program include the, the options to you can connect your PTT or push to talk to a GPO on the uh, Raspberry Pi so that's great because you can save a lot of time of that. Uh, in my case I'm not very good in electronic and I'm not very proficient on that so I just found a simple solution for my purposes here and I found this was very working uh, for me. I mean it works for me and I hope it works for other people uh, who wants to experiment and have your own DG repeater extension uh, in your home or downtown, okay? So th that's it, guys. Uh, just keep in mind that I will leave the APRS for a couple uh, months here in the house of mine loads because as you can see, uh, we have many stations in the central of Costa Rica, which is fine. This is Central Valley, and here are the three provinces where everyone lives, or around the 90% of people lives here, but we need to cover this area because sometimes you go to the uh, Central Pacific and you don't have uh, a way to send APRS because even if we have the highest volcano base here, we don't have the, the availability to, you know, to uh, cover all the entire country because we have many mountains and many uh, difficult places where the signal can cannot move on as expected, right? So we're going to leave here. Uh, I'm going to share maybe in the future a video about the the results and how it goes. I'm going to create a ground plane for the frequency which our APRS is based in order to you know expand and have a better uh, performance of the project. Uh, we will see. So guys, this is uh, the information that I want to to share with you. I really really appreciate your time here. Thank you so much for joining, and we saw. Uh, all the steps in order to configure this APRS. I hope this could be very helpful. Thank you so much, guys. 73 from Tango, India to Golf Bravo Bravo. Greg from Costa Rica in Central America. Please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't su subscribed yet, I'm going to uh, produce more uh, content and more uh, videos uh, for the ham radio uh, community, and I will be very happy to to share with you my knowledge and my experience and experiments to you, okay? So 73, all the best, and see you soon, guys.